Hello everyone, in this video we look at how we can check the spelling in Excel. Now, when we are using a word or let's say PowerPoint, the Microsoft has a feature that will tell us if the word we just entered has a wrong spelling. But unfortunately in Excel, for example here, if I'm entering a wrong spelling, let's say round instead of round and I click enter, it doesn't tell me whether it is right spelling or wrong spelling. So today I'll tell you about a macro that will help you check whether there is any wrong spelling in your Excel file. In this particular VBA code, it will help you to understand uh, how many wrong spellings are there by highlighting all the cells which contains wrong spelling. For this, we need to write a code in VBA editor. For that, let's go to the developer tab. Now, if you do not have developer tab, let's add developer tab to your Excel. For that, you need to go to any tab and go to the ribbon and right click anywhere on the ribbon. Then you can click on customize the ribbon. Now, when you click on customize the ribbon, a menu like this will appear. After this, you can go and check on developer. If the developer option is unchecked, click on it and select it. And let's click on OK. Now you have a tab named developer on the top. And in developer tab, let's go to Visual Basic and double click on it. Instead of double clicking on this, you can also just click on Alt plus F11 to open the Visual Basic Editor. Let me click on Alt plus F11 and the Visual Basic Editor has been opened. Now, this area appears to be blank and let us add the Visual Basic Editor window here. For that, let's go to this area. The white area here, it is known as the Project Explorer, which will give you the details of or the sheet one, this workbook, or you can even add new modules to write your code inside. So let's right click on here and we have an op option called insert and let's click on the insert option and go to module. Now this is a module one that I have just inserted. Let's write our code here. In this code, we are aiming to highlight all the cells in that worksheet which has a wrong spelling. So let's start by opening a sub procedure. So I'll write sub and next I need to give a name to our program or the sub procedure. So I'll give highlight misspelled words or cells. Now this is the name of the sub procedure I have given. You can give any name for your sub procedure and I'll click enter and as you can see the VBA has inserted automatically to parenthesis here and also the end sub here. So I'll write my code inside the sub procedure. So in, in between the sub and the end sub I'll write my code. I'll give some space here and yes I'll start writing my code. Let me first declare a range. I'll write dim rng as a range. Dim is the keyword you use to declare something here. RNG is just a random keyword I have used. You can use any word for that. And a range is the data type here. So I'll select a range here and click enter. Now I'll enter a for loop that is for each of the cell in this particular worksheet. I'll check if the spelling is correct. So for each RNG, RNG is the range which we just declared now in actor sheet dot used range so i'm checking in each of the cells in the active sheet instead of active sheet if you want to uh, check in one particular sheet you can also use something else called instead of active sheet you can use this workbook dot sheets and inside bracket you can put the sheet name for example the sheet name was something like sheet 1 then this is how you can write the code if you want or uh, you can change the name of sheet 1 into whichever sheet you want to focus on now i'll be using active sheet here because i want it to check the active sheet that is a sheet which i am using at the moment so i'll write active sheet dot used range used range means the range which i have used in that particular sheet 
and I'll click enter and once you can see that the letters have uh, uh, turned into capital letters it means that your code is working at least now so let's write the next sentence so we'll go for a if condition and if not so it's not just an if condition I'm calling an if not condition that is uh, the condition which I'm going to give if it is not the case then I want something to happen so let's see if not application dot check spelling so application dot check spelling is a method here let's open the bracket and inside I'll write word uh, colon and equal to rng dot text so i'm telling rng is the cell each of the cell and i want the text uh, of that particular cell as the word here and that word will be spell checked so let's put then here and click enter now what will happen if the spell check has returned that the spelling of the word is wrong so then i want the range uh, style to be something else so let's say is equal to bad uh, and I'll click enter here and let's close the if statement we just started here so we started if here so let's end if here and press enter now there's something else we need to close that is the for loop so we started for loop first but then inside we had the if uh, condition so we'll close the last open one that is the if one so we close the end of here and let's close the for loop here for closing the for loop we can just write a next rng that is after one rng or the cell has been checked let's move on to the next cell on here we declared that particular cell range as rng let's click enter this is the code now let's see whether this will work I already have a set of data here and some of the spelling is wrong and let's see whether it will work let's go back to the visual basic editor and click on run now it means that the code has been run and let's go back to the worksheet and see whether it has worked see some of the letters or the cells have been highlighted let's see favorable it should have an e right so let's add an e here cucumber the spelling should be having an e here and i think all the highlighted spellings are wrong hypnotize hypnotize is the right spelling so i have changed these two spelling into the correct one let's run this code again and see but since there is already highlight in here uh, it will not you know do anything uh, any changes to it so let's remove all the highlighting and see whether it will work again so I have removed all the formatting here and let's go back to the visual basic editor here and run it again so I have ran the code again and let's go back to here and the cucumber spelling is correct I think favorable should be having a duo as well here uh, I think this is the correct spelling favorable yeah anyway as you can see the cucumber spelling I have corrected and now it is not a highlighted cell because it will highlight only the cells which has a wrong spelling now this is how you can you know identify which cells have a wrong spelling in your excel file now let me just write down a sentence here this is a sentence with right spelling i just hope the spelling is correct this is a sentence with right spelling okay in next cell i'll write this is a sentence with wrong spelling now the spelling of the term uh word wrong i have written uh as r w r o n g e so that it will identify as a wrong sentence let's see whether uh, this code will identify the sentences as well. These were just words. Now let's see whether the sentences will also be checked. Let's go back to the Visual Basic Editor here and click on Run. I have clicked on Run here and let's go back here. As you can see, it highlighted the cell which had the wrong word in the sentence. So this code will help you understand or uh, the you know an amount of errors in your particular worksheet and you can correct this and you can make your data perfect so this is how you can highlight in uh, the wrong spellings in your workbook 
and this is using VBA. I have posted many other videos with VBA and functions and many other tricks about Excel. Please take a look into those.